Hi, I'm Ike and I'm in my gun room and I will show you uh, some of my uh, favorite uh, weapons which include uh, the Thompsons, specifically Colt Thompsons from 1921. I wasn't always into Thompsons but uh, I was avoiding them, I don't know why, I used to like them but I didn't want to own one so I traded a Merriman M60 one time um, as a joke with a person who gave me two Thompsons from my Merriman so I couldn't back out so I did it and ever since then I can't stop. They're amazing weapons to have and the history is also amazing because they were used uh, during prohibition, prohibition era and by the gangsters and uh, in the wars and everything. So I have three Colt Thompsons uh, of which uh, two of them are in the 99% category in condition and one of them is about 98% and I also have a M1 Savage war type uh, weapon. The difference on that is the Colt Thompsons, the actuator, the charging handle is on top of the gun and they take drum magazines and uh, regular stick magazines and the War Thompsons, the M1s, the actuator is on the side and it only takes uh, stick magazines, although there were modifications made for them to take drum magazines by manufacturers only. Uh, I will show you one of them that's a pretty nice gun. It used to belong to the city of Moline, Illinois Police Department. And this one is one of the nicest guns that I own condition-wise. You will see it in close-up. Uh, it's a 1921 Thompson and it's an AC because he has a compensator. Uh, it's a late serial number 13798 which make it close to the end of the manufacturing for the Colts. They stopped at 15,000. That's how many there were. And it's still, as you can see, the condition is immaculate and it's all correct. All the parts are correct. Um, it is a very important thing for Thompson collectors when you buy a Thompson to know if it's refinished or if the parts have been changed. This one is a complete gun and it's featured in several publications and several Thompson books that were uh, written on the subject. Uh, this takes a 20 round mag a 30 round mag, a 50 round drum, and a 100 round drum magazine. And uh, I don't know any much more of the history other than that it was used in the Molina, Illinois Police Department back in the 30s, 1930s that is. It's 100 years old this year. And this is a CNR weapon or a Curian relic. This Thompson, the 1921 AC Thompson, it is in the category of the 99 percentile condition wise. Um, if you see close-up pictures or the video, you will see that the bluing is immaculate. It has probably a very light scratch on top right beside the right side of the actuator and a small scratch on the left side of uh, the receiver. And it has been uh, seen and I was told by the experts that it is a 99.8% gun and it has never been refinished. The value, based on the one that I saw for sale, which was less conditioned than this one and sold for 90000 plus 28% commission, I think this will bring over 120. But it comes with an original FBI case, a 50 round drum, and four magazines, and a cleaning rod, and the hardest of the accessories for a Cole Thompson, which is the cleaning kit and the spare parts kit that goes in the FBI case. That alone is 10 grand. As you can see that this display case is uh, designed uh, with the Colt firearm in mind. I have a lot of other Colts, not machine guns, but uh, pistols and revolvers and mostly police related weapons of Colt. Um, and some of the accessories that come with a Colt, I will start with the drum magazines. Uh, these are all Colt. This one is a numbered drum that has a serial number in the front and the back, usually matching. This one is a no numbered drum. They build it. They put the N.O. but they never put the serial number on it. And this is one of the rarest drums. Uh, and the rest of them are third generation Colt drums. This one being the 100 round drum, uh, the C drum. And that's also matching numbers both front and back. Uh, on the top you see the FBI case, the Seraph's case, and another FBI case from the 30s. That's where they used to carry the Thompsons in. Uh, a little funny story, the FBI build the case and put the drum and magazines in the front so when they carried the case with a gun in it, it tilted in the front so everybody knew that there was a gun in it. The serifs were a little bit smarter and more um, people uh, 
related uh, police department, so they made it where the magazines were in the front and the drum was in the back, so he shared the weight, so when you carried the bag, it was even. And uh, one of the rarest accessories for a Cole Thompson, is for the FBI case, is the spare part cleaning part kit that fits in the FBI case. As you can see, that's an original one. And the paper that's inside has the spare parts of the gun, like a firing pan, springs, and everything that you need to, the brakes into the gun. And these are all original Colt. Uh, these are extremely rare, and it's one of the rarest accessories for the Colt Thompson. And they go between seven and $10,000, if you can find one for sale. I haven't seen one for sale in 10 years. As you can see here, there's another Colt Thompson. This is a Colt Navy Thompson um, on the bottom. And I will show you the most common Thompsons, uh, the, the War Thompson, the one that only takes stick magazines and they used them for World War II. And they were much cheaper than the uh, 1921 Colt Thompsons. This is a Savage manufactured M1 Thompson. Uh, it's a side actuator, that's how you charge the bullet into the chamber. And this was designed for the military in mind. It's much more simpler than the Cole Thompson and cheaper. And it only takes stick magazines. Uh, like I said, this was built by Savage Company. They made thousands of them for the military. And uh, this belonged to a Texas police department. And I believe that it's never been fired. They uh, never carried it or they left it in their vault because the condition is immaculate. The price on uh, this type of weapon, which is transferable, will be between twenty-five and 30000 